What's going on, XLM Army, Stellar Lumens community, Luminots, and everybody interested in XLM? Thank you so much for staying tuned to the Joe Lee channel or stopping by if you're new here. I have a special update forecast for XLM. I know the market has been a little bit shaky, a little bit sideways, but I have a good one for you guys today. So let's go ahead and hop in today's forecast update. It is currently March 9th in Seoul, Korea as I broadcast this video and the price is currently trending at 17 cents. So let's get a little bit closer. And yes, I just want to say from the last video, if you watched it, it kind of worked out, but it didn't work out. So we actually are following the third path, as you see here, where we fell back on my celestial web line at around 17 cents here at the end of February. And then we did get a bounce of about 13%. If you took that trade, congratulations. Even better, if you bought towards this wick and you just really trusted the process around 16 cents, if you would have played that, that would have been around 24, 25%. So congratulations if you did play that. It did follow my third pathway. I know it's not exactly what we want and most of us want those huge mega next dimension green light green lightsaber candle gains i completely completely understand guys i'm not just randomly just drawing these pathways there's definitely confluence and proof it's not just i'm randomly just drawing these pathways so i just want you to let you know guys know that so you're definitely getting value on this channel okay so now xlm army or anybody interested in xlm or my luminots you're wondering through your smartphone right now as you watch this video or your tablet or your laptop or your PC, where is price going or where is the market going for XLM? So let's go ahead and get clean out these pathways now. We did get that bounce like I was saying uh, at, in, at the beginning of March, but we did retrace about 17, 18%. We're kind of going sideways and it's kind of just hugging and sticking around my celestial web line, which is based off a of very peculiar symmetry. So if you're new at the channel, these are not just your random dash lines that I'm just drawing. There's a lot of confluence that I've tested based off of thousands, thousands of hours. They definitely work. Um, they're great for finding future support and resistances. So we did get that 17% retracement and now, now heading up We as I film this video. So we're going up about 7%. I don't think that's where it, it ends there. So this is where I let you guys know we have some good news in this video. So let's go ahead and start with the first scenario which everybody loves, which is the bullish scenario, right? Everybody loves it. So I do have some great confluence points today to share with you about why I believe XLM is following more of the first scenario. And I'm gonna give variants of it with the different pathways, of course, to kind of help you choose which pathway that you really resonate with and really fits your game plan in this video. In the first bullish scenario, I wanna go ahead and share really beautiful geo patterns that I see playing out. And I love geometry, it really helps to figure out kind of where we're headed and market rhythm. It's a great starting template. So if we take a look here, all the way back from, I guess like February, we could draw this, this falling or we could say descending triangle, which is a bullish reversal sign. So we already have like a midterm macro geo pattern. And you can see that price is currently tightening up and we see that it's bouncing to the top of the borderline of this ascending or falling wedge, ascending triangle, however you want to say it, trying to get above the celestial web line right here uh, at around 18 cents and I believe it'll eventually cut through. It shouldn't be that difficult to make it through. It's already done it before. So what else can I add to this before I start drawing pathways for you guys in variance is that within this kind of midterm macro ascending triangle, we also have another geo pattern playing out. We have actually kind of a mini falling wedge inside here. So if I, I can draw it by going like this, yes. And let's, yeah. I like to draw it like this. So we have kind of a mini falling wedge within here, okay, within the macro descending triangle. So what does this all mean? 
pretty much. It means that we're getting a little bit more proof that we are eventually going to get some nice price momentum to the upside eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and just say it uh, before I get the pathways. And I know it's already close to mid-March, but we'll just use that as a starting point is mid-March to end of March to maybe let's just say mid-March to mid-April we're gonna see something happen major and I'm actually leaning towards the bullish scenario for this so the bull side and I'm excited to see how it unravels so definitely stay tuned to see how things turn out all right I think something is definitely gonna happen so for the first pathway really quickly the first one and we see we got two green candles kind of printing right now uh, this candle on March 9th is printing green. So it's definitely kind of just bouncing around within these geo patterns. And what can happen is that just simply on this first pathway of this bullish scenario is that we could either kind of pause and kind of bounce around trying to break through the celestial web line, maybe making a little kind of flag pattern or yeah, something like that before breaking through to the upside. Um, as we get to like mid-March, end of March to April. All right. And then we just simply work our way back up, breaking through that last resistance zone at 19.20 cents. Maybe we'll find some resistance. We can make, it could be a falling wedge, maybe another bull flag, and then uh, just break through from there, getting up to the next celestial web line zone at 23 cents. And then we just keep working our way back up. Okay. Breaking through that celestial web line at this point is at 23 cents and getting back to this last all time high in February around 25 cents. So let me give you a variant of this first bullish scenario. I did say that simply that we could just kind of either go sideways like this. You know, we could also just shoot straight up from here too. It's very possible just break straight through, retrace back on this celestial web line and just, you know, go to the upside right from there and then get back to all-time high, that last all-time high around 25 cents. The second barrier I want to give that it's not able to cut through the celestial web line plus the borderline of both the kind of midterm macro descending triangle plus the falling wedge kind of on the short term right here. I mean, there's a lot of resistance plus there's horizontal resistance around 18 cents as you can see here, where what could happen is it just kind of goes back down and falls simply in both triangle patterns that are draw or wedges, however you want to say it, kind of falling back down and maybe wicking down as we get into mid-March. And this is actually very, very possible where it could actually fall back down and go even wick down all the way back to below that last low around March 7, 8, which was 16, 16 cents. And it's it's possible it could get close to even, I think it would be a little bit higher than that last nasty wick right there at the end of February around 16 cents, but hitting it below around this falling wedge or descending triangle. And then from there, it's going to simply reverse. And this is really going to flush out the market and really scare the market. And we already have all these geopolitical tensions. You see what's going on with you know Russia and Ukraine. We do have you know executive order coming up in the US as well for cryptocurrency. So there's a lot of just these different things that seem scary and can really flush out the market. And right now, Crypto is not the trend. A, a lot of the casual people seem to have pretty much left, right? So it's only kind of us, the real crypto celestials, the real hodlers, the people who really believe in crypto. Pretty much from there, it's really going to shake everybody out, really shake it, max fear, max pain, and then we reverse, right? Kind of possibly doing like a V-shape pattern and, you know, getting back up here, finding support, maybe on that last wick right there around 16 and then go to, going to the upside finally. As we go into mid, late March, Q2, April, and whatnot, and then we find maybe resistance at 18 cents at that Celestia web line, pull back, finally breaking through, and then kind of rinse and repeat with the other pathways where we make it all the way back, breaking through this resistance at 20 cents, 1920, getting up to this Celestia web line at 23, and then breaking through finally March and April, 
around 25 cents getting up to this last all-time high in February. So that is the third pathway. Of course, within all these pathways, there is many possibilities where this could just also, we could just pull back as well. We might just rally up to these different points. For example, we might rally up to this last high at 19 cents and pull back on that pathway. You know, it could be this one too on that path. Yeah, keep that in mind. It doesn't mean we have to go all the way up to this last all-time high. So those are different pathways on the bullish scenario. So let me give you the epic variant scenario of this bullish scenario. So what can happen, and if you've already seen this before, you know what it generally looks like, is what if finally when we do get this reversal, what if this is the making of that final fifth macro major extension of the parabolic mania blow off stage where it just catches everybody by surprise and we already know like i was saying before that there's already so much fud and just scary things happening in the world but what if this was all just a major distraction in the crypto market what if that is just this is all just a distraction just to shake everybody out and where all the insiders and major whales and institutes are, they know what's going on. They have a major plan. Market makers have a huge plan to hop back in and take advantage going into Q2, Q3, Q4 of this year, and even Q1 of 2023, where it starts just breaking through resistance one by one by one, just doing it very quietly and kind of in a way, in a very clandestine, and kind of secretive kind of type of way where it just kind of catches people by surprise like where a lot of people just aren't believing it or they're so distracted with so with what's going on in the world today they just don't catch it until it's kind of too late if i draw the pathway of this epic variant scenario is we've break through all these different resistances right we have one at 30 cents right there and we have the celestial web line at 32 and we just cut through one by one by one getting up to all the last last major highs in this case 41 to 42 cents and then we just go for a tear by q2 q3 q4 of this year even up to q1 of next year cutting through the last major major high in may of 80 cents may of last year 2021 just cutting through let's start for one buck one dollar for uh, xlm conservatively anywhere i see xlm stellar lumens going to one two or three dollars i do have very peculiar calculations for my price targets and i will share these price targets as long as this scenario starts to come into fruition all right so definitely stay tuned if you're not um, everything will be on the channel everything will be here for free do not have a private membership or patreon yeah i can't pronounce Everything will be here. So definitely take advantage. This is just to help you guys. So now I have to hop into it. I don't want to do it, but it is the second scenario, which is the bearish scenario. I know nobody really likes the bearish scenario, but as I always kind of preach and say in all my videos, it's very important though that we always consider the bearish scenario because we never know what could happen, right? what type of major black swan event can happen there could be a huge huge crazy event where we start turning into zombies or there's an alien attack or maybe something a little bit more realistic uh which is also very scary though is you know there could be a huge nuclear war that breaks out from um, the geopolitical tensions i don't think that will happen but we never know and that could obviously have a dramatic effect so just to go off pretty much what I was saying in that I think it was the third variant of the bullish scenario where it does fall back down to the triangle, the bottom of the uh, descending triangle or the falling edge, however you want to say it, where it does bounce off and it does go up to, let's say by like, I don't know, April Q2, we do get another bounce again where it goes up to the celestial web line as heavy resistance at 18 cents around there. But what could happen is even though we see this happening and we're expecting like a major reversal, what could happen and we've seen it in the past is actually it keeps falling back down where it doesn't make it through. And 
And just to demonstrate this is where it just kind of goes back down again. Can't do this forever. There, or, there is going to be a significant rally at one point. Doesn't mean it has to go to that mania blow off stage with next dimension gains and green giant lightsaber candles. What I'm trying to say though is that this could possibly just be another like dead cat bounce and we just go back down going into April, maybe making a ABC correction, three wave uh, bearish correction on the short term. Uh, going back to obviously the last support would be here around 16 cents at the bottom of that triangle right there. But what could happen though is we could actually not only find support there and then just kind of go sideways or go flat, but we could actually, you know, actually make another low again. I don't see it going dropping too much lower, but if you look if we look at history though so far it's been in this kind of bearish downtrend for a little while. I don't see it going too much lower, but yes, it is possible it could happen and kind of do something like this and kind of go sideways and then you know working its way back up for another kind of dead cat pounce and hey stay tuned to the channel we're going to take advantage of every dead cat bounce or rally regardless if it's the blow off mania stage or just it's a rally where it goes up to like 100 or 200 percent so we're going to take advantage there's going to be something for everybody Right, regardless if you're short term, mid term, or long term, if you're a swing trader, momentum trader, investor, or a hodler, there's something for everybody on the channel, so definitely take advantage. That is pretty much it for today for my Luminots, XLM Stellar Lumens Army. I know the market has been kind of boring and not so exciting, but please hang in there. We are finally going to make it and get those next dimension gains at some point. So, Definitely let the gains be with you. May the profits be with you. And keep believing. And in the end, we will achieve and get to the promised land. So have an amazing day. And stay tuned for the next update forecast. Thank you so much. And peace.